Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Cabela's games for the Sony PSP. Cabela's African Safari might sound good on paper, but it isn't when you play the game. As game modes, you get a Safari Hunt mode, which is the story mode. But doesn't really tell you a story, I mean there is no interesting cutscenes and barely any plot. It's there just to chain multiple objectives one to another. The story is barely there, but hey, on paper, you get a story mode. You also get an instant hunt mode and some bird hunting minigames. In the campaign, you get multiple objectives and get to hunt in 5 different counties. But don't get excited. They all look the same. Almost all locations look the same. There is some color change, for example some grass is greener and other grass is more yellow, but in general they all have the same, the same feel. And none of them looks good. In rest, the animal number isn't big, and neither is the weapon number. Cabela's African Safari isn't a bad game, but it gets tedious pretty fast. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts Ultimate Challenge is a port of the 2003 Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. The graphics were severely downgraded, but the gameplay remained as fun as in the original. And they kept the same story from the original game and even the same levels overall. So you get to hunt in forests, savannas, snowy areas, and not only this, but you also get the same weapons and the same animals as in the original game. So basically, you get the console game graphically downgraded on the PSP. Also this game is action packed and focuses on action more than on strategy. So if you are the type that likes to prepare the loadout, be stealthy when attacking your prey, the game might not appeal to you. But if you like fast paced hunting of dangerous creatures and have a narrative to it too, then this game is definitely for you. Cabela's Legendary Hunts is a big improvement in the franchise. The graphics look nice, there are multiple diverse locations, woods, deserts, snowy areas, and the animal animations have been improved. You get a decent amount of weapons at your disposal, even bows. You can use bait, and in the campaign mode, you can go after famous hunts, meaning that you go after legendary animals. It's a great game that is good for both casual gamers and for the ones that like a little bit of strategy. It's nice for those who want a realistic approach to hunting and for those who like action-packed games. So, it's a game for everyone. I recommend you try it. Cabela's North American Adventures is great. The graphics have been even further improved, you get nice cutscenes, the story element is better, you get different environments like forests, deserts, snowy areas, and a nice feature I liked was that in this game you can see the vulnerable points on animals when aiming. There are around 20 levels in the campaign, also you get a custom gun builder, you also get that epic looking bullet time effect. The game is great, it gets some of the great key elements of recent Cabela's games on a handheld console. So as you can see, with each game the guys making Cabela's managed to get the experience better and better. I liked all of the games, but as the game is more recent, the better it gets. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to be a very special someone for the channel, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!